Let's now look into the action menu again, but not from the explore, not from the search, but from, from my tracks, because this has some other interesting features that uh, you may use. So I am now in my library called the my tracks screen, and you see here I have a bunch of songs. Some are not yet downloaded on that device, they are uh, lower opacity, some already are uh, downloaded locally on my device. And you will find again here at the end of the line to the right side that uh, three dots button that will display another um, menu panel. So same as previously, you can open the track information, you can play it from here, and what you couldn't do from the explore and search screens is decide whether or not you want to keep that locally on your storage. So as you see here, that song is already downloaded. It's full bright white. If I want to save space on my device or I'm no longer using this song, I can simply click here to remove the download and it will go back to a lower opacity. When a song is like this, it means that I cannot play this offline, I will have to open the song again to download it. And you will see when I return that this song is now downloaded again. Or alternatively, if the download is removed, you can also from the menu directly decide to download it. So it avoids having to um, open the song and wait for the download to happen, it will run in the background and you can uh, prepare your offline plays uh, this way much more easily. Another interesting, um, so add to set list is also available from my tracks, obviously this is convenient and normal and you can also um, search for the other songs from that same artist from my tracks, the same as in the explore and search screens. The main difference here is the archive um, option, which we will dive again into uh, later. But simply, if you click on this, it will remove the song from your main library. So this is especially, and has been requested, this is especially useful when you have been, for example, testing the application with some free tracks just to see how Jamson works and if it can be suitable for your needs. And after you play those songs just for trial, you do not want to see them or you do not want to play them anymore. So you can use the archive function just to hide them from your library and keep things more organized and uh, easier for you to navigate.